This video is about a theorem from mathematics that is applicable in various sciences including economics. We will see the economic application of it in the later videos but at this stage we are going to understand that how this uh, theorem works which is known as Young's theorem because it is after the name of the individual who gave this idea. And here we assume that we have a function where z is a function of uh, n variables that is starting from x1 we have x n variables. Then two second cross partial derivatives can be calculated that is the derivative of this z function with respect to i and then with respect to j. So, we have two bars here and again we have two bars it means that it is differentiated twice and this time we have differentiated it with respect to j and then i. So, they are usually equal. In mathematics their equality can be missing in some situations because that is a broader science, but in our economic analysis it will be limited to those cases where they are equal. So, now let us unravel this if this was the function that is f uh, it was differentiated with respect to x i and then with respect to x j. So, in this case the order is uh, primarily with respect to x i and then with respect to x j. Here the function is now with respect to x j primarily we di differentiate it with respect to the other variable and then with respect to x i. So, you see the order is reversed this is the main thing this is what we are trying to do reversed order. So, it does not matter no matter you differentiate with respect to the first variable or the second variable the answer will be the same. In this case we are assuming that the number of variables is equal to 2. So, if this happens uh, we have this specific formula that there are two terms that are equal and the order in these is reversed. The order with which we have differentiated the function is opposite. Now, we can understand this by using this uh, numerical example in which the function form tells us that x and y combined determine the value of z. So, z is a function of x and y the specific form of it is x square plus y square. So, we separately solve this that is the first order derivative with respect to x and side by side the first order derivative with respect to y. So, if we do this uh, the answer will be equal to this that is 2 x and if we differentiate with respect to y the answer will be equal to 2 y. So, we have done the half of the theorem because we have found one derivative with respect to the alternative variables. Now, we will do the differentiation again, but with respect to the other variable here with respect to y because x is already used. So, y is used. So, we will differentiate with respect to x. So, in this way the second order derivatives will be calculated as told you have this uh, second order derivative with respect to y and second order derivative with respect to x. And when we differentiate it with respect to um, y, you can see that there is no y in it. So, the answer will be 0 and here when we differentiate with respect to x since there is no x in it the answer again will be equal to 0. So, due to this reason the answer in both of these um, cases is equal to 0. We should also pay attention to the notations. This was the original derivative, the first order derivative. This is the second order derivative, and in a combined way, 
we can write it like this we can write x in the subscript here and y can also be brought in the subscript after x I mean th the same way y was already used so it was z y and then x was used so we added x after y in the subscript so z x y is equal to 0 and so is z y x which means that they are equal and this is the verification of the Young's theorem that says that if you have a function z you can differentiate it with respect to x and y and then y to x the answer will be the same so Young's theorem will be applied in economic situations for example cost function differentiation with respect to x and then y it should be equal to cost function differentiation with respect to y and then with respect to x they should be equal for example q l k that is output function or production function differentiated with respect to labor and then capital should be equal to output function differentiated with respect to capital and then labor they should be equal this implies that Young's theorem hold in economic situations thank you